introduction. My name is Anna. My expectation is to actually complete this ultra. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm Emma, my first ultra, so I'm just looking forward to exploring the beautiful countryside and trying to enjoy it. <laughs> James Willis, um, my only expectation is to finish. Um, last place is a victory as far as I'm concerned and uh, I expect lots of climbing and lots of descending. Hi, so I'm Eloise and uh, so this race is my first ultra stage race so my main expectation is to finish as fast as I can and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hello, my name is Christian, I'm from Denmark. My expectations for this race is I have no idea. I'm jumping into it and uh, I'll see you in a few days. Hi, I'm Ana Maria and I hope that I will finish the race and I'm totally excited and scared. <laughs> Andre, I'm the organizer of the Ultra Race Romania. Uh, well, as you can see behind me, the competitors are just starting to arrive. We are so excited because this is the second edition of Ultra Race Romania. Last year there were like 13 competitors. This year it's about the same. There were some, still some issues with traveling and pandemic and COVID and so on. So, uh, but we are looking forward to, to get this going and uh, offer them some memories to share with, with friends back at home. Too late to back out now. <laughs> <laughs> How did you sleep last night? Yeah, good. Yeah, I did a full circuit of the tent twice. Uh, not great. <laughs> Always good, but when I moved over to cuddle with Mike, he, yeah. he done a circuit very quickly. <laughs> yeah. I slept great, I'm ready for the race. have to stop and have a look around. I mean, it's a, an amazing view.
tougher going down than I thought. <laughs> or the official version. It's amazing. I feel great. It was easy. Looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> Already kind of hard, I have to say. The uphill was quite demanding, but uh, I really enjoyed it. It was good. Oh my goodness, man, the views. I was, I was like, wow, I've got to take photos of this. I saw a bear. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Ah! Yeah, mama bear with cubs. Ah! It was awesome. <laughs> Beautiful, but hard work. <laughs> I quite liked going up, but I did not like coming down again. I saw one in a tree, and then when I got near it, it wasn't a bear after all. But I did stop for like five minutes thinking, that looks awfully like bear shaped. <laughs> but no, I didn't see any bears. <laughs>
you did a fabulous job. I think there is no other track in the world as beautiful as that. So I heard lots of people say that this was harder than Marathon de Sar. This is far harder than the Marathon de Sar. Every step is harder. It's just relenting on that elevation. Up and down, up and down, it's non-stop. Cold water on my legs. I'm ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Bloody bees. Long stage today, that's good. I enjoy the long stage. It's a, it's a real slog. This one was hard. It was also pretty, but it was so hard. Sneak peek inside. Look at this. thinking about what we've done with not thinking about what we've still got to do. <laughs> here, 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 up there. The worst piece is here. So I enjoy a challenge and Andre, when I first signed up for this race, he said it will be a really good challenge for you. There's lots of elevation, it's going to be difficult, it's going to take a long time, but if you want to succeed, 
you will succeed. And he kind of motivated me saying that, you know, one, he thought I could do that anyway, because he'd seen me doing MDS. And for myself, um, I enjoy a, a challenge with a bit of suffering as well. I quite enjoy that side of it. So if it's really difficult, it's great. I, I like that part. So if it was too easy, I would lose interest. Oh, I truly mean this. I, I truly mean it. I've done lots and lots of um, events, but this is the first time where I, this feels 100% inclusive. It doesn't matter whether you're a participant or whether you're the volunteers or whether you're the organizers. It's like a huge family here. You know, it's, it's really, really nice. And all the small attention to detail, things like, you know, making sure you're okay, just saying hello to you, checking when we're out on the course. And it's not just, oh, hi, it's, they have a conversation with you to make sure you're fine. Is there anything we can get and help you with if you're unsure? So for me, it's all those small little touches that are like the personable side of the event. I mean, like I say, I've never done an event where I, this whole campsite, this whole event itself is, um, is what, what URR is. It's amazing. I would do this event every year because it's one of those that you could come back and you would just feel like you're meeting like friends again and running the event. What motivated me to start it was that I really wanted a challenge, like a challenge that I wasn't sure that I would be able to do. Um, and I think what keeps has been keeping me going is um, partly the fact that every time you do a really long, really long climb, you get to the top and you have an amazing view and it's so beautiful. Um, and I think also the people, so like the other people to run with and all the volunteers are also enthusiastic that it cheers you up all the time and makes you keep going. So yeah, it's been like a lot longer than I've ever run before, but it's been really good so far. My legs are quite tired though. <laughs> What's still keeping me going is that I've came so this far, so I don't want to give up now. It's also a very beautiful race, very nice organization, very nice people. So you kind of, I want to finish for all the volunteers too, not just for me. First of all, I have to admit, I was slightly worried that I w won't be able to finish the race. So now I'm quite happy that we're very close to, to uh, the finish line. And for the first time, I actually believe I can finish it. Um, and what keeps me motivated is just that it's such a big challenge. It's probably one of the biggest challenges of, of my life. Uh, and I'm uh, very excited to be here. It's a wonderful race, wonderful team. The, the volunteers are, are unbelievable. Their energy is just incredible and, and it makes us very, very motivated to push when it's very hard. Uh, and it makes us very happy to, to be here. And the fact that I met so many amazing people, including the, all the other 11 participants, uh, and I think we're gonna be friends for, for life after this.
just wonderful. I couldn't have imagined it. I'm so happy. What a race, what a week. It's been uh, absolutely amazing. It is the best Coca-Cola. It's been one hell of an experience because this is one hell of a race. Wild, crazy, beautiful, and fucking tough. Amazing, incredible, one heck of an adventure. The landscape was beautiful, we are beautiful. I wanted it hard and it was hard. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Beautiful and very, very well organised and really good fun. Very tough. Lots of hills. So I wanted it to be a challenge and it was definitely a challenge. But I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been really good. I need to say thank you to everybody here. Participants, um, the uh, volunteers, the event organisers, everybody. It was amazing. And then uh, Mama uh, Tata, so uh, Lu Shu. Uh, Fatty, Crocky, Nala, Freya, uh, my wife Diana and daughter Elinka for all of their support and uh, for letting me go on these crazy adventures. So this one is for them. It's in Romania, it's theirs. Yes! Yeah! Amazing! Thank you.